Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Crafty Robot. As it's close to Halloween, uh, we've gone for a ghostly feel to today's make. So there's uh, a new bit of code that you can load onto your Smarty Bot that will give it ghostly glowing color changing eyes. Look at that. And to go with it, we've done a series of ghost costumes. Well, we've done two ghost costumes for your Smarty Bot. One out of paper. And one from felt. You can also take your loose Smarty Bot board with the glowing eyes. Put your paper ghost on top. Or you can put the felt on top. Or, if you don't like paper craft and you don't like sewing, but you like 3D printing, we've, we've got done you, for you as well. <laughs> yeah, we've done you a 3D printed ghost. Crafty Halloween this year. So if, if you haven't ever um, programmed your Smarty Bot with Esprino, um, I'm gonna show you how to load code on. So if, if you go to the Crafty Robot website and you click on Smarty Bot Programming, and then you scroll down and you click here to say an Esprino configuration optimized for Smarty Bot, then you'll come into um, Esprino. And if there's any JavaScript here, you want to delete it. But basically, 
this side of the screen is where you paste the JavaScript. And if you hit this button here, then you're into the blocks editor and you can put in block programming. But if you click back, then you're into JavaScript. And so if you copy the code from the website and then paste it here, it appears on the, on the left, on the right. And um, then you need to connect to your robot. And you do that up here in the top left corner and you click that and you click web Bluetooth. And then you can see the smarty bots there. So we pair, wait for it to connect. And now we're connected to the robot with the computer. And so now we're gonna click this one, which is the upload the code button right in the middle. It says send to Esprito. So we hit that. Now the code's loaded and then we're gonna save it. And when we save it, that's gonna make it start. So you type save, open brackets, close brackets and hit return. And now the color fading eyes is on your smarty bot. And what's cool is if you open up the app and connect, oh, we have to disconnect here on the computer. Now my smarty bot's available in my app. When I connect, the color changing eyes are still going on. And so I can drive it around and still have the color fading eyes. She's very Halloween-y. You got one ghost face smarty bot. So we tried to make these makes uh, really easy to do. So if you've got a smarty bot, you've got no excuse not to try and make one of these ghosts as a Halloween decoration. And um, we hope you enjoy it. Have a great Halloween. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.